live, love, and enjoy life while you have it. Why do I say that? The longer and longer I live and I see that people are just passing away left and right, young, old, middle age, live, love, and enjoy life while you have it. You can't take your house, you can't take your bank account, you can't take your cars. Take the time to enjoy the people that love you, support you, are there with you, rocking with you, no matter what. Take the trips, go on the cruises, sit and enjoy yourself, spend time with you, live, love, and enjoy life while you have it. Because once it's gone, we already know, once it's gone, it's gone. Life is short. And I just don't believe that we're just here on earth to work, pay bills, and that's it. There's so much more to life than that. But we got to get out and we got to enjoy it. We got to live. We got to love. We got to enjoy life. Our lives is waiting for us to show up. It's not the other way around. Life is tapping us on the shoulder. But hey, if we don't do anything about it, and if we don't show up, our life will just pass us by. So we got to ask ourselves, wait a minute, am I waiting? What am I waiting for? Why are you waiting to take the trip? Okay, you got to save for it. Okay, but if you have it, and you haven't taken the trip, you haven't gone on the cruise, you haven't taken the short vacation, or you just haven't done it, why not? Why not? What are you waiting for? What's the holdup? Take the trip, take the cruise, go to the beach, go to the park, pack a picnic. It's simple. It doesn't have to be extravagant. You don't have to fly across the world, but hey, if you can, do it. But what is wrong with the small moments? Create the moments. Create the family times. Hang out with the people that you love and that they love you. Because life is short. Live, love, enjoy life while you have it. If you are going through something, look outside. The sun rose again. You will too. We have all gone through so many things in life horrific things, painful things, challenging things. But we have all gotten through them. And it's a choice. Every day, I choose to move forward. I choose to get up. A year and a half ago, my mom passed away. Each and every day, I deal with that. Each and every day, I am accepting it all over again. Like, my mom is not coming back here. And I have to accept that each and every day. And each and every day, I have to choose to go forward. Why am I telling you this? Each and every day, choose to go forward in your life. We are all going to have challenges in life as long as we are here. But what matters is how we handle those things. You already know that. Make a choice on how you want to show up in this world. You were born with gifts and talents that this world needs. Uh, people are waiting for you to do what you are meant to do in this world. You were born at this time because you have gifts and talents that need to be poured out in this lifetime. Find out what those gifts and talents are. Nurture those. Pour out in this life. Show up. Wake up, show up, and shine just like the sun. The sun rose and it's shining no matter what. Shine no matter what people are saying, what their opinions are about you. Wake up and shine. Wake up and walk in your gifts and talents. You know, there's this scripture that I like, and it's Jeremiah 29, 11. And it says, for I know the plans that I have for you. 
plan is to prosper you, not to harm you, but to give you a hope in the future. And I have a bracelet on my arm with that scripture. I love that scripture, and I hang on to that during tough times. Hang on to and lean on with your belief, what your focus is, what your faith is, or what grounds you. Wake up, show up, and shine. Baby, you got this. We got this. We got this. We can do this. Wake up, show up, and shine no matter what. Okay? Live your life out loud. What do I mean by that? For me, living my life out loud means showing up, being true to myself, being my authentic self. Trying new things, stepping out, working on myself. It's a host of things. Being yourself, letting your light shine and all that you have to offer as a person. And I'm going to share this, give you this tip. You know, when you're a child, you know, you're free. Your heart is on your shoulder, you're living, and all these things because life has not happened and you're not jaded. You, you know, you're happy, you're joyful, you're, you're, you're not afraid to be vulnerable and all of those things. And then life happens and then all these walls go up and you're afraid to show who you are, you're afraid to care too much, you're afraid to do this, you're afraid to do that. And I remember on my personal development journey I had to dig deep and because I had gone through some things in life and had been hurt and all these things and I was guarded and had all these walls up and I realized that I wasn't happy and the inside wasn't matching the outside and again, that's that personal development, that journey, that healing journey. And I remember sitting with myself and I'm like, where is that girl? You know, the girl that just loved people and was happy. And I had to find her. I had to dig down and find her. And I told myself, you know, my Shika, people can't see you because you have turned yourself off because you're so guarded. Allow people, allow this world to see who you really are. Show up in this lifetime. And it took some time and it took some work. And one of the things that I told myself was that the gifts and talents that God has given me, I want to pull them out in this lifetime because that's what I was born to do. I was born with a purpose and to walk in it in this lifetime and to pour myself out and show people who I really am and don't be afraid of being vulnerable. You know, when you are showing people who you are, are you kind of scared? Of course, of course. It's Sometimes in life, you have to tune out all the static, all the distractions and all the noise in your mind and just get still and just sit with you and get you together and get you together it's not about what they doing she doing he doing it's not about any of that sometimes you just gotta go inside and just sit with you and get you together and just really just dig deep inside and say, wait a minute, what do I need to do to move forward? I know I've had to do this plenty of times. It's not something that you just do one time and that's it. You know, in life, sometimes you go through some challenges and, you know, obstacles and barriers and these things. And I've had to sit with myself and say, wait a minute, I got to block out the noise. I got to block, I got to block out the, the, the static. 
I got to quiet my mind and just say, wait a minute, like what's going on? Check in with myself. And some people may say, well, you know, well, how do you do that? When you just check in and reflect with yourself. One of the things that I, I've done, I've journaled. I have written down some of the things that are working, things that are not working, things that I've tried, things that I haven't tried that are positive things that can move me in the right direction. I have also, and I do also uh, lean on my belief system. I'll spend time praying, quiet time. I'll walk and I'll pray, or sometimes I'll just walk and just be quiet and just, you know, just clear my mind. There's been times where I just also too will reflect on all the blessings in my life, all the great things that have that I've done that have that has happened in my life and just have a moment of just gratitude and just like God, thank you for this and this and this and this. And there's also been times um I will step away from you know, like, okay, all this stuff is going on. And I will focus on what's going right, right now. Nothing kills your peace, your joy, or anything that you have going good faster than negative thoughts. Why do I say that? Has everything just been going great? You're having a great day, some great things are happening for you that day. And then all these negative thoughts creep in and start sabotaging the joy, your your positivity, the, the smile, and that great feeling that you feel inside. Nothing kills your joy, your peace, or anything that you have going good in your life faster than your negative how do I know that? Personal experience. <laughs> Self-sabotage is real. When things are going great, why can't they just be going great? Why do it has to be the luck of the draw or, oh, I just, oh, that's luck. Why can't something just great be happening for you? You know that is possible, right? Great things can for you and you have to believe that in your heart and in your mind great things don't just happen to other people great things can happen for you too and they are especially if you're watching this video right now you woke up you're you you have the ability to hear and see walk talk breathe you have the activity of your limbs and even if you don't have activity of your limbs, you can hear, you can see, you're breathing. You're breathing. And that is a blessing all in itself. Self-sabotage is real. And when we are moving in that space, we have to be mindful of that. We have to say, wait a minute, hold on. I was just feeling fine a minute ago. Everything is great. Now, where did this negative thought come from? What is this? Hmm. Sit with it. See what it is. Release it. Let it go. Don't allow it to steal from you. Don't allow it to steal your peace, your joy, the good things that's happening in your life. One day, it's all going to pay off. And that's what I keep telling myself. That's what keeps me moving forward. That's what keeps me focused. And anytime that I feel like, oh my goodness, doubting, what is this, what is that? I just tell myself, one day, all of the training, all of the extra learning, all of the healing, the things that I've done to better myself, all of the praying, all of the meditation, all of the exercising, all of the things that I have done to improve myself, move myself forward, is going to pay off and I will tell you the same thing. Keep grinding, keep showing up because one day it's all going to pay off. It's better to be ready so that you don't have to get ready and when opportunity presents itself, 
you're ready to move forward and you don't have to say, wait a minute, hold on, I'm not ready, I need to do this, I need to do that. Put all the ducks in a row. Make sure that you are working on your business, your life, yourself, whatever it is that you need to work on so that when opportunity presents itself, you are in go mode. So just a little food for thought. Be ready so that you don't have to get ready. Find your lane. Find your lane. The reason why I want to talk about finding your lane is because of this. If you have a friend that has an esthetician business, or maybe she's an esthetician or he, and they are successful, and you know damn well, <laughs> that is not your lane. Find your lane. Find your lane. Find what you are great at. If I know somebody that's a great mechanic, I am not about to open up no shop and start working on cars. That is not my thing. Figure out what your thing is and move in that. I guess as time goes, you just, you learn, you get more comfortable with yourself and you realize what you're great at, what you're not great at. And you just come to accept like, okay, that's your lane. I'm not trying to do that. I wish you all the best, but that is not my lane. This over here is my lane. Like for me, I don't enjoy cooking. I don't enjoy the kitchen. So if I run into a baker, a chef, more power to you. Cheers, kudos to you. I am not going to go and do that because I know that that's not my thing. And I think it's very powerful when we realize where our lanes are, what we great, what we are great at, and what we're not so good at. And it doesn't make us a bad person or bad people. It's just that you know, like, no, that's not for me. Or when somebody brings up those things, like, ah, that's not my thing. Like, for example, some people enjoy working with children. If that's not your thing, please don't go and become a teacher if you know that that's not your thing because you can do more harm than good. That's with anything. So figure out what your lane is because when you figure out what your lane is, you can be great, you can be awesome, you can be absolutely amazing, and you can help somebody else. So figure out what your lane is. If you are waiting for somebody to believe in you, believe in your business, you will be waiting for a lifetime. Why do I say that? I told people, not people, but family, friends, a couple of friends, oh, I was gonna write a book, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, oh, okay. Blew it out the window. I was waiting for them to believe in me. But then when they actually saw it happen, it was just like, oh, you were for real? So. That's why I'm saying, do not wait for people to believe in you, believe in your dream, because the fire, the dream, the passion, the vision was put inside of you. It's for you to believe in you. It's for you to believe in your business, in the, the dream, the purpose that God has given you. It's not for me to believe for you. So if you are waiting for someone or somebody or some people to believe in you, in your vision, in your dream, move forward, move forward. Don't worry about that, put that to the side. Don't allow it to keep you stuck because if you are waiting for people to believe in what you wanna do in your dreams and visions, it can make you stuck because you're waiting for their approval. You're waiting for them to give you the go but you are the go. The vision and the purpose is inside of you. So move forward in that. Figure out what that is and move forward in that. Figure out what you need to do. Figure out the steps that you need to take to move yourself forward. Get around people that know more than you. 
Get around people that are in places and spaces that you want to be so that you're able to learn and move forward. Make sure you are in a, te in a teachable mindset and in a teachable space to learn, to help yourself, and to move forward. And when you are not around those people, you can research, you can look up online to see what you need to do to move yourself forward. Is it a networking event? Do you need to get out? Do you need to tell people about the services that you offer? It's about you figuring out steps too. You just can't wait on the next person. So figure out the things that you need to do to move yourself forward in the path that you're on and go forward in that. Find your lane. Find out where you need to be in traffic. You know on the freeway how they have all those lanes and when somebody is driving slow, you just switch lanes and go around them. Figure out your lane. Get in your lane and move forward in your lane and what you enjoy doing, okay? Where are all the moms? I have a message for the moms. I wanna talk to the moms, ladies, moms, where are you? Where are you moms? Moms, this is for you. All the moms. And if you know somebody that is a mom, please share this with them. Give yourself some grace. All the moms, give yourself some grace. Take a moment and give yourself some grace. Love on yourself. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself some grace. Why do I say this? As a mom, we carry so much. We take care of the honey, the house, the kids. We take care of everybody and we tend to put ourselves on the back burner. And by the time we realize that we need to take care of ourselves and we have forgotten about ourselves, we're in like breakdown mode, overwhelmed, just over exhausted. Give yourself some grace. Take a moment for yourself you cannot take care of the honey, the house, and the kids and nobody else if you don't take care of you. Fill your cup up. You matter too. You matter. It's, hey, I'm not saying don't take care of the honey, the house, and the kids. I'm not saying any of that. But when you don't include yourself in that equation... it becomes a problem. You become overloaded. Include yourself in the equation. While you are taking care of everybody else, the honey, the house, and the kids, and everybody else's dog, make sure you are taking care of yourself. Take care of you as well. So often, so often, we put ourselves on the back burner and we keep saying, Oh, I'm going to go back and get me. I'm going to go back and get me. And by the time we realize we have forgotten about ourselves, we're in like overwhelmed. Why do I say this? Why do I know this? Is because when I was in the middle of the, my divorce, I didn't even realize I had lost myself. And I said, wait a minute, where did I lose myself at? When did this happen? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, mom. Do you have your life all figured out? Why am I asking you that? Do you have your life all figured out? I know I don't. <laughs> I don't have life all figured out. And that's okay. If you don't have life all figured out, that's okay. That's okay that you don't have life all figured out. This is, <laughs> this is not a race. Life is not a race. You know, even though I don't have my life all figured out, one thing that I am thankful for, I'm not where I used to be. I'm not where I used to be. And 
you are probably not where you used to be. Why do I say that? Years ago, years ago when I was in the middle and dealing with a divorce, um, I could not sit at a bar without getting wasted. Yes, I could not sit in a bar without getting wasted. It was the wrong way to handle the divorce. It was the wrong way to do things. I stand in my decision. I stand in my choice. It was not the right thing to do. And I'm telling you, it was not the right thing to do. Now, I can sit in a bar and have coffee because God has brought me through all of that. Was it easy? No. It was hard. It was challenging. But you know what? He brought me through it. And progress is progress. So if you are working on something and you are making progress, keep at it. Keep going. You got this. Progress is progress no matter how small or how large. You're not where you used to be. And that's what matters most. Keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep moving forward. And it's okay that we don't have this whole thing called life all together. It's one day at a time and being intentional and showing up each and every day to do the work so that our lives become better and get sweeter. Start where you are. Start where you are. Why do I say that? Sometimes I think we get so caught up when we are wanting to change things in our life for the, for the good and we want to change our mindsets and we want to change behaviors. I think we get so caught up on oh, well, how do I do this or how do I do that? And we make it more complex than what it really has to be. There's no right or wrong way to start improving your life. You just start. Start where you are. You know the things that you need to improve upon in your life. You know those things better than anybody in your life. Just start. Start with one thing and move forward in and add things on. Start where you are. Don't get so caught up with the right and wrong way of doing things. Oh, well, how am I going to incorporate this into my routine and this and that? Yes, you need a plan. Don't get me wrong. But don't make it so complex where you end up getting yourself discouraged and you make it more complex than what it really has to be. Just start where you are. Progress is progress. A win is a win, no matter how small or how large. The point of it is, is that you start. Tip of the day. If you want certain things in your life to change, be coachable. Why do I say be coachable? Because if you have a mindset that you know everything, you got everything figured out, Nobody can tell you anything. How are you to learn? That's self-sabotage. You have to learn to be coachable. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. But in order to learn something that you and I don't know, we have to be coachable. We have to be coachable. We have to have an open mind and we have to be ready and willing to learn and listen and grow tip of the day be coachable be coachable it will help you in your growth in your personal life in your daily life in your business life you can learn from other people but you have to be willing to be coachable you have to be willing to have an open mind and you have to be willing to listen and learn from other people. Be coachable. Get around people that know more than you, that are in places places and spaces that you want to be and you want to go, but you have to be coachable. That's the key word. Be coachable. I would like to remind somebody today that just because you have gone through challenges and a number of other things in life that I know not of, because I know that we've all had challenges in life, 
But I just want to remind you is that all those things that you have gone through does not make you less valuable. Your life matters. You have worth. And you mean something in this world. If not to nobody else, to yourself. And I just wanted to remind whoever needs to hear this, no matter if you have been overlooked, misunderstood, forgotten about, left, your life still matters. You matter. You are valuable. You are loved. You are cared for. Even if you love and care for yourself, you have value. Keep moving forward because you got this. Do not sit down on you. Do not sit down on the gifts and talents that you were born with. Yes, you, me. We were born with gifts and talents. Find out what they are. Hone in on them, nurture them, and show up because the world needs what you have to offer. Guess what? You may be able to do this amazing thing. The next person may be able to do it too, but they can't do it like you. That's why you have to make sure you show up in the gifts and talents that you have and that you're supposed to pour out in this lifetime. I don't know if you ever heard this saying. The saying is, the graveyard is the richest place on earth. And the reason why they say that is because so many people have passed away and they have taken all those gifts and talents to the grave. They didn't nurture them. They, they didn't do anything with them. And it doesn't make them bad people. Let me be clear on that. It's just the saying that says the graveyard is the richest place on earth because so many people have passed away and they did not tap into the gifts and talents that they were born with, given. They didn't do anything with them. So my message for you today you, I, we may not know all the gifts and talents that we were born with or we are equipped with. But the ones that we do know about, let's hone in on those. The world needs what you have and the world needs what I have. Do not take your gifts and talents to the grave. You were born, when you were born, at this time for you to show up and offer to this world what you have. Walk in your purpose, walk in your gifts. Every day I wake up, I have to remind myself, my Sheikah, walk in the gifts and talents that you were given. We were all given gifts and talents. You, I can make a difference in this world by sharing our gifts and talents with the world, okay? Are you working on goals? Maybe you're working on your self-esteem, self-worth, self-love, confidence. Book a session with me. I can help you.